So there's a pipe bend application here. And this is really probably a pretty rare case, but um, what we've got here is we've got a, a catch basin up on the, uh, uh, just off the bridge here. And then this pipe is draining down to a, another catch basin or manhole um, that's down at a much lower elevation. Um, and on this particular pipe, um, the designer decided they need to put in a, a couple of bends in there um, to, to break the slope a little bit on it. Um, so it's not all one continuous slope. Um, so the way this application works is I need to select the element that I want to assign some bends to. And I already have bends assigned to this element. So I go ahead and select it. And when I accept it, um, you'll see a dark green arrow is drawn showing you which way it, it drains. And then the information is read into the dialog. Um, so the starting elevation is 891.62 at this end, and it ends at 874.76. So that's almost a 15 foot drop. Um, so it's quite a drop. And uh, what we've got here is a list of, of bend information. So the bends are entered as a distance from the start point. And then at that distance, what do you want the elevation to be? So the first one that's entered here uh, was entered as 62.9 feet. And at that location, wherever that falls, uh, we want it to be at elevation 887.46. And then the second one was entered uh, 88.1 feet from the start, so somewhere out here, um, we're going to hit elevation 874.86. Um, and the way these are entered is I would just type in the distance and the elevation, add it to the list. If I have more than one, just keep adding them to the list. Um, in this case, I've already done that, but then I would just click uh, write the bend data to the element, and those values in the, in the table here are written to the element. Um, if I needed to modify one, maybe the second one, instead of 88.1 feet, I, I want to change that to be uh, 89 feet. We'll leave the same elevation, and I'll click Modify that value. So now you can see in the list that's been modified. Since I've made a change, I need to write that change to the element. And uh, just to review those parameters and how they're stored on the element, I'm going to go back to the Application at Attribute Viewer pick that element, and you can see down here there's some information added to my list of attributes. So bends is a numeric value. How many bends are stored on this pipe? There are two bends stored, and then there's the values for each of those two bend locations. So um, that's just a quick overview of how you store bend information on a pipe, and then when I get into profile mode or cross-section mode, uh, that would be reflected in the uh, graphics drawn in the profile or in the cross section. So when I hit cross section mode for this one, I'll be sure to uh, draw this pipe in a cross section and show you how that uh, translates to my cross section. So that summarizes the main three plan view applications. Um, there is one other that is technically a plan view application. At the end of the list is the 3D storm sewers, and I will demonstrate that one last out of all these applications. So next we'll move to the um, storm sewer profile applications.